The Logcat view is probably the single most important tool for debugging your Android apps. It's available through the Android monitor window. You can look at Logcat output for any connected device. If you're working with an emulator, it will always be available, but if you're working with a physical device, the physical device must be set up with USB debugging. You can get an expanded view of Logcat by double-clicking the bar above, and then you'll be seeing all the information that's being sent to you from the device. You can filter information very easily by simply clicking here and typing in a string. So, for example, if I wanted to look only at debugging messages, I would type D slash, and that would include only those messages that started with D slash. Or you could simply set the filter to one of the logcat levels, such as debug, and that would be a little bit more reliable. Now, again, you always want to make sure that you're looking at the right device. If you have multiple devices connected, you can choose the device you're looking at from this pull down list. I'll double click this bar again to shrink the Android monitor down. And then I'm going to run my app. And I'm going to run it on my emulator, which is marked as a Nexus 5 API 23. As the app starts up, the onCreate method is executed and the do this method is called. And I have a call to the log classes I method that will be executed. Once the app has started up on my emulator, I'll go back to the logcat view. And then I'll click right here and I'll type in do this and I'm filtering for that particular message. Now one of the most common things that you have to debug in an Android app is a crash. Let's say for example that I had declared a variable named intent and I hadn't instantiated it. And then I had used my live template TV out which I created in a previous video and I wanted to output the intent object's equivalent value. I would type in the ID of my text view object, my text view, and then I would pass an intent to string. At this point, I get a warning, so I'm going to fool the compiler by explicitly saying intent equals no. And that will now allow me to run the application. I'll get rid of this extra bit of code because I have a duplicate declaration of the TV variable, and then I'll try to run the app again. As the app starts up, it crashes, and that's because of a null object reference. To find out what happened, I'll go to the Android monitor, I'll expand it to more full screen, and then I'll type in the string Android Runtime. And that filters for exceptions that are being output by that component. If I want to be more specific, I can type Android Runtime colon fatal. And then I know I'm looking at fatal exceptions. I can then look at the Java runtime exception information. Typically, what you're looking for is a link to a line number in your own code. You might find a lot of noise around this, information about exceptions that are being caused at different levels or different areas of the call stack. But if you see an exception referring to a line number in your own class, you can click that link and then shrink the Android monitor window and the cursor should land exactly where the problem is. So the logcat output is a critical debugging tool for Android developers, and this is where it appears in Android Studio.